I would say that if I learned anything, it's, you know, because this was the first time we did service learning in this class, I learned about how to balance the curriculum and like making that curriculum a process-based curriculum and adding in the final project. So we were, we, all the students gave their final projects all on the same day. And it was a pretty tight day. So not all of the community partners got to make it. So I think the students that had more interactions with their community partners had a far better experience than the students that had less interaction. So I didn't know how much that would really matter because really what mattered was that the students had data that they felt accountable for. And I think that was the primary important thing for the successful projects. However, the students that had more face-to-face -face meetings with their partners did have a better experience. So I would, I'm going to make that more of a requirement in the future. As part of the process-oriented course, I try to teach them how to think about problems. Um, that can also be a challenge for the students because they want you to tell them what they need to know. And I would always say, I won't want to teach you how to think about this problem. I want you to know how to assess a situation, how to assess a data set. That's what we're learning here. We're not just learning this equation goes here. We're learning how to think about data, how to think about projects. And so even though sometimes they're reluctant to that, what they're learning is critical thinking skills and they're learning a process that they can apply to anything. So no matter what they do, even if they go off and they're, not, they're doing a project that's not really related to biology, but they're doing anything that relates to data, they're going to have this model that they can fall back on that hopefully they'll remember because of, of this experience that, that meant something to them. Many of the students appreciated this idea that they could actually do it. Um, I think when I proposed the project, I think many of them were thinking, well, I don't know how to do that. And I was pleasantly surprised, actually, at how conscientious the students were about the data for their partners. They did not want to let their partners down. In fact, some of them would be stressed out because they felt like they weren't totally clear about what their partner wanted. And I tried to lead, again, you know, students like everything to be really clearly defined. I like to leave things a little loosely defined because, again, that's how the real world is. Like, you need to make decisions. You need to make decisions and you need to go with it. You need to be able to be confident in what you know and try things and, and, and trust it when it works. And so um, I think the students really wanted to do a good job. They didn't want to let their partners down. And that, that conscientious nature came out in the evaluations that, that they were really um, hoping that they were able to do something that was really useful for the partner.